Network System Security, Assignment 3, Task 1. Produce a report in Word which explains what an organization can do to minimize security breaches in network systems. So we're going to see now as to what an organization can do to try and minimize the chance of a breach or a cyber attack happening to them. I have this template which you have access to. Same again, produce a report, word and report which explains what an organization can do to minimize security breaches. Same again, this is worth P3. And I've broken into these what they can do. Policies and procedures, user responsibilities, the education of IT professionals, physical security of system, and risk assessment and reduction. Now we'll be going through all these in class. All right. However, you also have access to these one, two, three, four, five PowerPoints, which is relevant for these one, two, three, four, five sections. So you're explaining each of them. So policies and procedures, user responsibility, and there's under there there's specific subheadings. Now, for example, I'll go physical security of a system. What is it? Lock and key. To protect a network, computers or important pieces of equipment on the network should be kept under physical lock and key, a locked door, locked cabinets for the servers, etc. All right, there's no point protecting your network with software and firewalls and all if you're not going to protect the actual physical equipment. The login of entry. So some way there should be um you should be able to log who has access to what rooms and where. Now for example that is is you know in the college the doors be locked and then I come along and I swipe my key to get into T fifteen. It's logged somewhere there that the last person to access T fifteen on at Monday at nine o'clock was Michael Gill. So say they come along on a Wednesday afternoon to clean the room and they realise there's a, a monitor being smashed. They can go back and see who was the last lecture or class in that room so they can ask them about the broken monitor. And they're able to be looking at the login of entry with the Wii Swipe key. All right. They mightn't even have to be as technical as that to get in the room or to, you may have to send it a key. So it's let that go on and send it a piece of paper to say, I've got the key for T15. I'm going to use that room. And then the same again, if there's something broken, you look at the register to see who is the last person to log the key out. The secure room environment. So make sure the rooms are secure, that there's, that, that there's the cameras in the rooms, etc. And authentication of individuals. Making sure that you have to authenticate yourself going into the building or going into the room. All right. Uh, the user responsibilities, there's another random one. Strength of password. Making sure that the user knows they have to have a strong password and that they're not writing the passwords down somewhere very silly for somebody to come along, find a post it note under the keyboard, and then that's they've got access to the network. And installation of new software. Uh, in the college, we can't install new software, it has to go through IT, and for IT to do that, they must do it from a legit source or legitimate website or legitimate seller can't say that there's a cheap or free version online i'll download that and throw on the computers they can't do it all right so these are the ways in which an organization tries to protect themselves and minimize security breaches and i say we're going through all these in class but you this is the template and you have access to all of the powerpoints and it's a matter of explaining them with an example on how do they work so as network system security assignment three task one which is p3